And for me, the form and content thing is what it's all about. You know, when Jesus would say things like, you know, it's easier for, you know, a, a, a camel to go through the eye of the needle than a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven, it's really important to understand, well, let's, we have to really be clear about what is the rich man, and what is, what is abundance, and what is scarcity. And it was so beautiful in the Course in Miracles where Jesus defined poverty as ego thinking, wrong mindedness was the poverty. Wow, that's a big relief. That takes it entirely off the form and, and says, what's your state of mind? Because a lot of us have met people that seem to possess a lot of material wealth, but they're very gracious, giving. You, you walk into their sphere and you feel like you're just totally engulfed. Like, how can I serve you? You know, they use it so well. And then other times, people get caught into the ego traps of greed, and they spend their whole day getting all stressed out, uh, trying to protect their money, maintain their wealth, and so forth. And it's the same with people that don't seem to have a lot materially. Sometimes you meet them and they're so gracious and loving. Uh, you may meet them on the street and they're just beaming with their eyes and, and they're just extending all the love in the world. And other times people are so <coughs> conscious of how little that they have that it becomes like an I am the victim of the world pronouncement to everybody. Please give to me because look at, I have so little and you have so much, you know, and, and of course that would be again greed in the disguise of worldly poverty. It would still be this old small I self. So it, it does take a, a bit of working out and, and I have to say that we were like sitting, I think at a, at a restaurant or a coffee shop uh, when Raj and Suze were telling us the, the 100 day test and then right after they finished it, it was such an impactful moment the Bee Gees came on, uh, how deep is your love, is your love, I really need to know, cause we're living in a world of fools, breaking us down, when they all should let us be, we belong to you and me. You know, it was like, God, it was, it was so beautiful. And I'm always, you should I'm make always, a CD. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm always aware of these moments, like we have this moment where Susan and Ron are right there and it's such a moment of they're telling this parable and how impactful it was in their life and then, and then the song comes right on because it's one big tapestry, the Holy Spirit's saying, you know, thank you for every little step you're taking, thank you for everything you're doing, thank you for what seems to be the good times when you have all the synchronicities flowing and everything's flowing so great and you can share those stories. And also, thank you for the times when you go through these like periods of disillusionment or relinquishment, or like that day of silence when you were both writing. You know, it was. Or, or at the airport where the sign came down right in front of our faces. Yeah. You deserve it. You deserve it with an exclamation. <laughs> oh, like the the signs. The car, yeah. The signs and symbols are all around us, all the time. But it's just we just have to be open yeah. to see them and and feel how nurtured we are. So it's really like a symphony of uh, of glory that we're beholding.